commitment. Such a big word. What is commitment? You can have that in your relationships, in your work life, in family life. Commitment. And I'm sure you need a lot of commitment when playing the harmonica. I'm your Dr. Cilindro and today I'm going to teach you harmonica notes and the structure and knowing that you reached this far in my tutorials means that you're serious about being a harmonica player and that you're committed to being one and I really appreciate that so let's get started before anything else please subscribe to my channel like this video and my other videos if you enjoy this please watch previous videos as well if you haven't so the last one is about tongue block I'm gonna give a summary of what we're gonna have in this video right now First, we're going to talk about basic music theory. I'm going to simplify it to you as much as I can. Transition to harmonica structure. So what notes are you playing in the harmonica in your standard tuned C diatonic harmonica? We're going to use a C diatonic harmonica in this video. We're going to understand the notes there. This video is going to be a whole presentation. So you won't see my face. I'm sure you're very happy to not see my face. We're going to get right onto it. What is music? They say it's organized sound, organized noise harmonies and rhythm, all of that. In elementary, your music teacher must have taught you the letter names. I'll give the first eight letter names. Since we're in a C standard tuning, we're gonna start with the C letter name. D, E, F, G, A, B. After these seven notes, you have the octave. So we return to a C. So now you have eight notes all in all, and you're gonna begin a new register from there. But let's stick with these first eight notes. Another feature is the form or formula of these notes. So the C, since it's our first note, it is in Roman numeral one. This is our home base, Roman numeral one root note, C. Our D, since the second one, we give it Roman numeral two. E is given Roman numeral three. F is given Roman numeral four. G is given Roman numeral 5 since the 5th. A is given Roman numeral 6. B is given Roman numeral 7. The C, we know it's the octave, so it can be 1, Roman numeral 1. It repeats, it starts a new register. So this is the form. It is usually used to generalize to other keys. The form gives the function of each note on the scale. In the key of C, the G plays the role of the 5th. Given the letter names, now you can move on to the intervals or the distance between each of these notes. So like as you see in, uh, in piano keys, there are the white keys and the black keys. And then of course you've heard the term whole step, half step. So with these eight notes, I'll show you which ones have a whole step apart from each other and are just half steps apart from each other. So C to D is a whole step. So it means there is a black key in between them. D to E is another whole step because we have another black key. From E to F, that is a half step. There's no note in between, there's no black key in between. From F to G is a whole step because there's a black key in between. G to A, there's a black key, so it's a whole step. A to B is another whole step because you have a black key in between. Lastly, B to C is a half step. There's no black key. It's just two white keys adjacent to each other. Basically in the piano, if two white keys are adjacent to each other, there's nothing in between, it's a half step. The seven notes without the octave is called the diatonic scale. It always includes the five whole steps and two half steps, as you can see with these given notes. And that's why you call this a diatonic harmonica. It's only meant to play seven notes of a certain scale. But then we'll see later the extent of a diatonic harmonica. Now we establish these eight notes. We can ask what are the notes in between. These notes in between, we usually represent them with a sharp or flat based on which note we're coming from. So if you're C and you want to know the black key in between, you would give it a sharp. So I say C sharp, you're coming from a C. But if you're coming from the D, you want to know the, the black key to the left, you'd say D flat. You're going down one half step. Every time you're going up one half step, you're using a sharp. When you're going down one half step, you're using a flat on the black key. So the sharp is depicted by a hashtag and the flat is depicted by a small letter B. And if you notice, the name of the black keys takes the parent note of where you're coming from and 
adds the sharp or flat. So in the harmonica, we'll be using the flat. The note in between C and D is a D flat. The note in between a D and E is an E flat. And there's no note in between E and F, so you cannot say F flat. There's no such thing as that. The note between F and G is a G flat. The note between a G and A is an A flat. The note between a A and B is a B flat. There's no note in between B and C. There's no such thing as C flat or B sharp. So now we have 12 notes, as you can see, and these are all the notes in music. 12 notes, and then you can just extend to a new register, or you can go lower using those same 12 notes. 12 notes is called chromatic scale, which is considered one register in the piano. We're just gonna take three registers, three registers of the piano. So that is 12 times three, so we have 36 notes. These 36 notes, you can play them in a harmonica. You'll be like, wow, 10 whole harmonica? How can you play 36 notes? You only have 10 holes, and you can blow and draw, so it gives you 20. So where does the 16 other notes come from? You'll be surprised on the techniques that will be used to produce them. And it is gonna test your commitment to the instrument. So let's get on with it. So now I'll show you the harmonica layout. So as you can see, we have 10 squares each square representing the whole of the harmonica. And then you can number them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's your 10 whole C diatonic harmonica right there. Now we know that you can play a simple blow and simple draw. So you have 20 notes there. So what are those 20 notes? In our previous session, the tongue block, I mentioned octaves. So you have your one, four octave, which has the same letter name, one note is double the frequency, one plays the C note. And therefore, since four is an octave, it's also a C. Four and seven is also an octave. So it means seven is also a C. Seven and 10 is the same octave, so 10 is also a C. To the next octave, the one and four draws is also an octave, and the one draw plays a D. So it means the four draw is a D note. Four and eight draw is also an octave, so it means the 8th draw is a D note. So now you have C and D located in the harmonica. And now we can move on to the next set of octaves, the 2 and 5 octave. So the 2 plays an E note. Same with the 5 blow plays an E note. Since your 5 blow plays an E and the 8 is the octave, so the 8th blow plays an E as well. Let's move on to the next set of octaves which is the three and six octave. So the three plays a G note. And then therefore the six is a G note as well in a higher frequency. The six and nine is also an octave. So the nine is a G. We've completed the, all the blow notes, one to 10 simple blow. As you notice, it's a C, E, G, C, E, G, C, E, G, C. Pay attention to the pattern. That C, E, G is known as a chord. Three notes, three holes is considered as a chord. So C, E, G is a C major chord. So you can play that chord in a C harmonica. So let's move on to the next octave, which is the three and seven octave. The three plays a B note. The seven draw is the octave, so that's a B note as well. The five, nine octave, that's the next octave. The five draw plays an F note. Same thing for uh, the 9 draw, it's an F note. The next octave is a 6 and 10 draw. So the 6 draw plays an A note. The 10 draw is also an A. We've completed everything except for one more hole, which is the 2 draw. The 2 draw is special. It plays a G. It's the same as a 3 blow. You're gonna wonder why there are two holes with the same note, if one can just take the place of the other. But we'll see later that the way the harmonica was tuned enables us to reach other notes that are not seen in this layout. Before we move on, I'd like you to notice that we have additional chords. In the 4, 5, and 6 draw, we have a D minor chord. The D, F, A creates a D minor chord. And then if you move back a bit, from the 2 draw, 3 draw, 4 draw, we have a G major chord. G, B, D creates a G major chord. Then if you add the 5 draw, if you play those 4 holes together, you have a G7 chord. 
which is usually used in blues. Another chord to notice but isn't often used is the 3-4-5 draw or the B diminished. The B D F creates a B diminished chord. You have 20 notes. Where does the other 16 come from? And I'll answer that in the next video. Sorry guys, we're out of time. I'll continue this in part two and I'll go straight right into the structure.